The plan today was for me to tell you guys all about the sick gaming PCs that Starforge Systems put together for our whales at Whaleland 2023 at LTX. Oh wow, it's really heavy. The problem is that I don't know a couple of the minor details like how much these things are worth. I can tell you that our whales paid $10,000 for their tickets that include the PC, and I can tell you that this system is not available on Starforge's website. That's right, as part of this sponsorship deal for Whaleland, Starforge collaborated with Blue Horse Studios to do up something totally custom. And I can also tell you that this is my first time seeing it. So I really hope they did a good job. Because of the way I unboxed it, you guys get to see it before me. Did it get bashed in in shipping? What, you're nodding. What is with this guy? Why would you do that to me? The PCs were hand delivered to us. We put them on a pallet and we're pretty sure the weight of the PC with the box bent the bottom feet. So we're getting new feet for the whales. Oh, it is bent. But this looks amazing! Oh my goodness! Woo hoo hoo! Oh, it's a vinyl wrap. The case is turquoise, and then they've got these blue accents on it that really sell the underwater theme. I think the business end might look even better though. Holy crap, the size of this GPU. Ah, ah. Oh, that's really thoughtful. I have all four of these off, and it can't just fall off. There's a little holder right here for the tempered glass side panel. One thing I will tell you guys for sure is that we are not gonna have the same problem we had last time. At Whale Land 2022, people bought whale tickets, which included a gaming PC, but the problem we had is there's a big overlap between the people who pay thousands of dollars for a whale ticket and people who already have a good gaming PC. Not this time! We have gone absolutely top of the freaking line. We've got a 13900KS CPU, that's 24 cores of gaming goodness, an RTX 4090 Aero OC that is one of the largest computer components I think I have ever seen. They apparently want me to do a couple key upgrades on this system, so I'm gonna start by taking out the GPU, since I have to have my screwdriver handy anyway. LTTstore.com. Ooh, cable mod, 16 pin cable. No lighting on fire for you, buddy. Does this GPU make my hands look small? Now that we can actually see everything, we've got 64 gigs of DDR5 6000 CL38, an MSI Z790 MPG Edge motherboard, a 1300 watt power supply rated at 80 plus platinum efficiency, also from MSI, full cable mod cabling. Man, I love these gold cable comb accents here. A full complement of Lee and Lee's daisy chainable RGB fans with what appear to be infinity mirrors on the hubs. I'm not sure if I've seen this particular version before in person. And naturally, while it is AIO cooled, it's AIO cooled by EK, so I'm expecting outstanding performance. Of course, we're gonna fire it up pretty shortly here. For storage, we've got a four terabyte WD Black SN850X in there, and the piece that I'm adding is for networking, we've got these Intel X540 network cards cooled by Noctua, courtesy of our um, extremely robust mounting solution of one screw in the corner. But seriously though, you know, look at that. We even heat shrinked the, you know, power cables onto the thing on the thing. So yeah, it's good. Uh, I don't think this is going to fit. <sighs> I think there is a solution to this. All we need to do is loosen this thumb screw. Easy. And it still doesn't fit. I have a really bad idea. Ah, <laughs> oh, darn it, it slipped. I'm not gonna to apologize to Starforge for what I'm doing. They have a penis for a logo. I will apologize to Blue Horse. I'm sorry I did this to your computer. <laughs> eh. Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, you can't, you don't even notice it. You know what, I bet I could put this cable kind of here. Uh, do you hear that noise? Get this back in here. I am gonna test that USB-C port because I do not like the way they bent this cable. Okay. You know why they call it USB-C? Um, Curve. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, this is a little thing that goes on the cable mod cable. Uh, I don't know how it goes on there. Oh. And it's broken. Oh! 
Wow, that's heavy. Really, this keyboard? It's not really aligned with the whale um, theme that we have going on here, but sure. Let's turn this thing on. Starforge asked me to bring up the fact that they now ship to the EU and UK, and they're going to be doing custom systems like this once a month, apparently. Because yeah, you can't order one of these, but um, hey, maybe something not like it, but, but like it in that it is unique later. Oh, sick, the RGB app launched and now it's all blue and white. Love it, very tasteful. Also, that infinity mirror on the fan looks amazing. This GPU is at 46 degrees? Ah, the fans are off. That makes sense. It's very quiet under the water. So we wanted to capture that. I know I'm only in the loading screen, but like 400 FPS in Cyberpunk doing anything is pretty impressive. Ray Tracing Ultra Steam Deck. I'm curious. Steam Deck preset. How many FPS can we get? Only 151? Oh yeah, this is not running at Steam Deck resolution. Okay, hold on, hold on. 600 FPS, no, no, okay, oh, sorry. Wait, how did it fall all the way back down to 150 FPS? The CPU is still at 50% utilization and this poor GPU has no work to do. Okay, let's not do this. Let's go to 4K, <laughs> woo! And we are still running at 100 frames per second. Realistically, we're closer to 80, 85 FPS average, but it's the lows that make this so smooth. Our 1% lows are 65. We're going even further now to the path tracing technology preview. Requires a 4070 Ti or a 3090. Wait a second, this is smooth. Even this is running at 60 FPS average. Look at this. Look at it. I was looking at my shadow. Buddy, get out of the street. What the heck? No, get, hey, hey, get, stop, stop. Stop it. Hey, whoa, what the? These guys gonna run me down. What kind of neighborhood is this? You're shooting them. Well, ow. <laughs> what the heck? I'm walking here. Wee, wee, wee. Okay, sorry, anyway, I'll see you all at LTX. Especially you whales. Congrats on your amazing gaming machines. Oh my God, wait, I missed something. I had OBS recording running too. I wasn't even giving it all the GPU. Maximum GPU temp, 70 degrees. CPU maxed out at 85 in games. Don't forget to subscribe to Short Circuit. Thanks Starforge for sending these over for our whales.